Hey guys! In today's tutorial, we will paint a lemon with gouache brushes in Procreate. No experience required as I'm gonna guide you through the process step by step. All you need is an iPad and Apple Pencil. If you are ready, let's get started! Before we begin, you can download all files we will use in this tutorial free of charge via the Gumroad link in the video description below. Let me go ahead and create a canvas. It'll be a vertical one with the dimensions of 2K by 2.5K pixels. As soon as it is created, we can import a background image. It is included in the tutorial files. To import it, let's go to Actions, Add, Insert a file. Let me find it in the folder. And if you have it saved to iPad Gallery, just click Insert a photo instead of a file. This image has a subtle grand texture that I like. Also in the tutorial bundle, you will find this color palette that has a few shades of yellow, green and brown. And in the brushes, there is realistic gouache paint that we are gonna use for painting and tiny speckles for the details. These brushes are a part of my premium gouache set from Patreon, which is now available on my Gumroad too. If you'd like to support me and get hundreds of premium quality brushes at the same time, please consider joining our creative community on Patreon, where I also share exclusive video tutorials and brush making videos. With that being said, let's start painting. We will need a new layer, so let's go ahead and create it above the background image. First I'm going to paint a lemon, then add a stem and a couple of green leaves. If you have some difficulties in getting the shapes right, you can use the sketch that I also added to the files. Just import it into the canvas, lower its opacity and create another layer under it. Now we need to select the base color for the lemon. It'll be number 2. This way we can go darker and lighter and build shading and highlights. Let's select realistic gouache paint from the set and it will be our main painting brush. It is set to full opacity and the size is at around 18%. If you want to make the edges more painterly, you can increase the size. Let's determine the lemon shape by drawing an oval. I will start from the right side, go down, and then paint on the left, starting from here and also going down. We can make it wider, more rounded. Then I will go more down and paint this triangular tip with a smaller brush size. Let me connect it. Then adjust the edges and after that paint inside with bigger strokes. Let's paint close to these edges. And then in the center. I will try to remove all bigger gaps. I will work on the tip a bit more. Make these edges a bit sharper, but not perfect, so it will still look like a painting. A couple of more strokes, also on this side, and now it is fine. Let's create another layer above. To draw the stem, I will select color 9 from the palette and start painting right from here. Draw a small line, then it will go a bit to the right, and from here to the left. Let's also make it a bit curvy. I will add another stick. 
Let me finish it here. Just go a little down. We can lower the size a bit more. And continue making strokes. To determine the shape. Here we can make it a bit wider. Then add another layer. Where we will draw the leaves. I will start from here. Go upper. And create a shape like this. Work on the left edge. It may go this way. Now we need to connect it. And also paint inside. Just as we did with the lemon. So we can make the size a bit bigger to make it faster. Let me adjust it here. I'm removing these black holes. And now it is fine. We can draw the second leaf. I'll start from here. Go up first. Then down. Create a curve. Then another one. Let's make it wider here. And connect. Now we can also paint inside. So I will press more on the pencil. And make it faster. A few more strokes. Just like this. Let's lower the size a little and finish the tip. Now it is fine. Let me adjust the edges a little. Also here. A couple adjustments. And now that we have the base shapes, we can start shading. So I will go to the layer with the lemon, add another one on top, and clip. Let's select color 3. This time we need to increase the size to maximum. And lower the opacity to around 60% or so. I will start making strokes on the left side. With low pressure. We will get this texture. Let's make a couple of strokes here, under the stem. And go a little to the right. Darken the edge a little. Let's make a few more strokes. Here at the bottom. Then make the size smaller. And work on the tip. 
I will paint slightly on the right side. And also on the left. Starting from here. And moving the pencil like this. Let's continue painting. We can make the size a bit bigger to 16% and paint approximately half on the left side. Now we can go even darker and switch to color 4. Since it is very dark, we better apply low pressure here. So let's increase the size back again and paint a little on top, like this. We will create the cast shadow that the leaf drops on this edge. Let's paint with low pressure to get lighter color and also move a little to the right. Paint like this. Let's go a little down. Make a couple of strokes this way. And also on the left. Let's make the size small again. And darken the tip even more. On the left side, I will make sort of triangle. Let's do it gradually, adjusting the size from time to time. Make a stroke that will go to the right side like this and paint a little on the right edge. Make a line. Let's try to darken this edge a bit more. So I will increase the size again and paint slightly. Like this. Now that we have all the shadows, I will just finish it here and pick the lightest color number one. We will use it to create a highlight. So I will make the size 100% again and start painting here with low pressure. Let's paint a bit more. And for one more highlight, we can pick color 6, which is off white. We better lower the brush size and start to paint like this. I will press first to add the slight spot, and after that, paint with low pressure so it will be sort of smudged. Like this. So let's make it bigger. I will increase the size and paint with very low pressure around it. So the light hits from this point. It may go a little down as well. We can also make a stroke here, close to the bottom. And once we have it, we can add another texture. For that I will add a layer above this one. We also need to clip it. And also change the layers blending mode. Let's set it to soft light. 
Now let's go to the color disk and select black color. We can do that by double tapping here at the bottom on the dark area. Then in the brushes I will select tiny speckles. It is in full opacity and a 6% size. Let's start making strokes like this all around the shape. Another stroke. Then I will duplicate the layer and invert the one on top. So I'm tapping on it and from this menu selecting invert. It'll disappear. Now let's go back here to the previous layer and apply Gaussian Blur on it. It can be found in Adjustments. Let's select it and start sliding to the right. I will zoom in and move the pencil to the right gradually until we can see the light spots. So 4% will be enough. Let's try to duplicate the layer. And we will get this. We can now merge all the layers for the lemon and start working on the leaves. Later we will finish the stem. So I'm going to the layer number 4 here, creating another one above it. And we also need to clip it. I will start with color number 10 and go back to the previous brush. Let's paint both leaves together. We need to set it to full opacity and lower the size. It'll be 4%. I will start drawing these details and follow the shape of the leaves. So I'm drawing this arc first. Applying low pressure on the pencil. And now we can draw a few lines on the sides. They will go like this. Another one. And one more. Now let's add a couple of lines on the right. That will go like this. Now I will work on the leaf that is on the left. Here let's make it curvy. I will start from the tip and make it like this. Then also add shorter lines. If you hear And then at the lower part. They will go in the opposite direction. All right. Now after we did that, let's add another layer on top. And then also clip it. I will pick a lighter shade of green. It will be number 11. Then increase the size. Let's say to around 14%. And draw on the side like this. To make it look like a leaf is rolled. So we can first determine it and then paint. Let me adjust the shape a little. And 
And now we can do the same here. And paint on the sleeve. Here I will make sort of triangle. Draw this arc first. And then go to the side. Let's also paint it. We can make the size smaller. And work on the edge. Let's paint it all like this. And if you'd like to adjust it, you can also use liquify. Ok, now it is fine I think. Let's go back to the previous color, number 10, and paint close to the edge, to darken it a little. But keep the left side light. I will also paint on this one. And now we can go even darker. So I will pick our base color. It was number 9. Here we can lower the opacity to around 70%. Also increase the size and apply low pressure. Darken the edge even more. I will apply more pressure on the right side and then do the same here. I think this way it is faster. We can try to use smudge tool that is set to the same brush. Its opacity is at around 60%. Now after we did that, we can try to add color number 7. Just draw a thin line, right on the edge. Let me do it on this one. And now it is fine. Let's go to our base layer and add another one above. It'll get clipped right away, because we have these two layers on top that are also clipped. This dark color is already selected. Let's keep it at the same opacity, but bigger size. I will set it to 87%. Let's add a shadow here, at the lower side, under this part, then go upper. Go up on the left, I'll make a stroke here, then make the size smaller and paint around these lines. This one. And on the right side from the line in the middle. And just a couple of more strokes. And it will be enough. Let's switch to the second leaf. I will start painting from the tip of the leaf, darken it a little bit, 
Then go along this line in the center. Also paint at the bottom a little bit. Go up on this edge. So we are creating this illusion of shadow and light. We need to add a shadow here. Around this part. Also on this one. And now we pick even a darker color. It will be number 8. So I will paint on this part. Go a little upper. And with a smaller brush size, add more shadows under these lines. Close to this one. Now it is fine. Let's work here. We need to increase the size a little bit. And I'm not pressing too much to get this painterly texture. I will darken this part even more. Also a couple of strokes at the lower side. Let's do it on this one. Add a darker shadow. And now that we have the shadows, we can also add some highlights. And for that we will need a light color. We have this one number 10. We can continue working on the same layer. So we can highlight this part a little bit. Paint between dark colors. Then on this side. This one too. And at the bottom I will keep it dark. Maybe we can just work on the edge. Highlight it all. Now I will switch to this leaf. Also add some highlights between these parts. Don't forget to adjust the pressure. Then I will make a stroke on the edge a little bit. It will go inside the leaf. Let's paint at the bottom a little bit. Then here. And highlight the edge at the bottom. Just a little bit. I think we can go even lighter. So let's switch to color 11. We can apply it here. Then on this side. And maybe a stroke 
on this leaf. To make it more highlighted. Ok, I like how the leaves look. So we can merge all the layers for it. And do this. I will go to adjustments. Select liquify mode. And switch to crystals. There is no momentum here. Pressure and distortion is at maximum. And we need to adjust the size. Let me try 36% and just work on the edge. We can try different direction. Here I will lower the size. And also make a stroke here. Let's do the same on this one. Let me increase the size. Then I will lower it again. And finish it inside. Like this. Now the leaves are almost ready. We can just do the following. I will add one more layer, then also clip it. Let's grab this color number 5 and set it to color dodge. I will lower the opacity even more to 50% and just make subtle strokes inside the leaves to add this yellowish tone. Let me do it in this one. I think I will set the size to maximum. And paint with low pressure. Like this. When the leaves are ready, we just need to finish the stem. I'm merging these two layers. Go into the layer number 3, also adding a clipping mask to it, and we need to select a color. Let's start with this dark one, number 7. We need to make the size smaller, because shapes are small. I will first apply it here, on this part. We can actually add a highlight here right away with color number 10. Just paint slightly. And then continue going up. I will go back to color 7. Adjust the size. And paint on top of the stem. Here I will paint on the right side. Then continue it here. Make a subtle stroke at the bottom, very narrow line. We can now select this brownish tone number 4. Put this color here. It is from where the leaf grows. We also need to highlight it 
using color 6. Just paint a small line in the center. Let's try to use color 8. Just add a few more lines around it. With color number 10, we can highlight the small part. On the left side. Also paint in the middle. This way. And this one will be painted with brownish tones. So let's start with color 4. Apply it here. Then we can go darker with color 12. Paint from this point. On this side. We can now select color 3 from the palette and paint in the center. Also on this part. Let's try to highlight this part a bit more maybe. So I will select color 6 again. Just make a stroke like this. We can add one here. And it turned out quite nice, I think. Maybe we can just darken this part a bit more. Let me grab color 4 from the palette. I will paint here. Just to introduce more brownish tones. Another stroke here. Then on this part. And now it is ready. Let's merge these two layers. Then also these two. And add a couple of final details to finish the drawing. Before doing that, Let's try to adjust the colors. So I will go to the lemon and from adjustments select Hue Saturation Brightness option. I will set Hue to 48%. Let's also try to do something with the leaves. I will use the same option and play around with hue. I think here 46% will work. Now we can merge these two layers. I will add another one on top of it, clip it and set it to soft light. I want to blend this drawing with the background by adding more shadows and highlights. And for that I want to use black and white colors, starting with black. This time let's use soft brush from airbrushing section. I will set it to full opacity and adjust the size. Let's darken this side of the lemon. To add a darker shadow that comes from the stem and the leaves. I 
I will also draw on this side a little bit. We can make this side of the leaf vanish by painting on it. And after that, add highlights. So we need to change the color into white. We can highlight this part a bit more. Also this one. Make a stroke on top of this leaf. Yet on the edge. We can make this part shine a little bit. In this way the lemon will also get some volume. Now after we did that, our gouache lemon painting is complete. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials and brush sets, check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon!